Your photos are more than just images and file names. Do you know what photo data you are sharing? There is a ton of data sitting behind all your images and now is the time to know what that data is and what you're sharing. Photos have a load of data sitting behind them and you can use that data to learn more about your images, but also use it to help you sort your photos. But it's always a good idea to know what data you are sharing when you put your photos out there. And more importantly, know how to not share that precious data with the world. What is EXIF data? EXIF data is the metadata or let's just say data that sits behind all your images. Depending on the file type, that data is either sat in the actual file or sat as a little sidecar file next to your image file. The information there will be as simple as the date created or the date modified, but also a ton of other information like the camera you used, like your phone make and model, any camera settings, did you use the flash? But also it can include GPS coordinates of where the photo was taken. Why be careful with your EXIF data? If you share a photo with someone, anyone can access that data. So they can use GPS to track not only your movements, but they can work out where you live if you take a load of images there. Not exactly great for your privacy, especially when it comes to children. One simple text of an image with a location setting on and they know where you are. How to protect your privacy. But there are a few things you can do to protect your privacy when sharing your photos. Turn off location services on your phone. Your first option is to turn off the location services of your Photos app. So when you take a photo, it does not record where it was taken. However, this does mean that not only will the people you share your images with not be able to know where the photo was taken, but you won't be able to either, which in the long run will mean you will not have all that lovely information about your photos that is the great plus of digital photos that you will totally understand if you have ever sat staring at a printed image trying to work out where on earth that hill is. Spoof your location. Yes, you can change the data in the back of your photos, even on your phone. You can go into the photo you want to change, go to the information and adjust it to a new location. So you can fool people into thinking you are in a different country to where you actually are. But as with turning off location services, this means the photo location will be wrong for you too. So you could get very confused in the future as to why you were in Sydney when you live in London. Remove the EXIF data. To keep all your data just for you, there is the option to remove the data from your photos before you send them. It can be as simple as going into the photos before you send it and removing the data or doing it on your computer using a free service like Adobe Bridge. If you are gonna do this, I would highly recommend making a copy of the photo and then taking the data off it. So you get to keep all of that lovely data for you to enjoy. There is also the option of a number of third party apps out there that allow you to share photos without including the location data. The most popular are Signal, Telegram or Wicker. So check those out for sharing your photos with others. What you don't need to worry about. There is some good news when it comes to your photo data. Before you go into a panic tailspin, Thankfully, most social media apps will wipe the data when you load an image up. So if someone does download your image, they can't figure out your location from the image metadata, but they can if you tag your location in your post, obviously. So there you have it. Now you know what data you could be sharing with your photos and how to protect that data. Do you know any other great tips for protecting your photo data? I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos and have absolutely no idea where to start? 
Well, I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos that you can access through the links below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead with a like and a share and a subscribe. Go on, you know you want to. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.